glucose to fructose. We are going to change a glucopyranose molecule into a fructopyranose molecule, and we're going to show you how to do that. Um, the first step in this process is to break the ring open. We are under slightly basic conditions, and a base, in this case OH-, will deprotonate the alcohol group attached to the anomeric carbon, bouncing the electrons in that bond down to form an aldehyde. And then those electrons will move on to the O, giving us a negative charge on that oxygen. Uh, this reaction occurs at all OH groups located around the glucose molecule, but it is only with this particular OH group that the six-membered ring will break. So that's the one that we will focus on. Um, the electron from this oxygen will deprotonate a water molecule. Now that the ring is broken, we need to change the aldose into the ketose form by moving the carbonyl from C1 to C2. Uh, to start that process, a base deprotonates this carbon, bouncing its electrons down to form an alkene bond with an alcohol group on, on either side, an ene diol. Like so. Through tautomerization, this will now form a ketone. With this base deprotonating this, this alcohol, forming a ketone. That's a nice looking ketone. Another base will deprotonate this oxygen, giving it a negative charge, as we've already seen. Just kind of a negative guy, really. And because it's negative, this oxygen is now ready to attack at the newly formed ketone, forming a five-member ring. Now we're almost there, but for this final step, um, this negative oxygen will deprotonate a passing water molecule. And you guessed it, we have successfully formed fructofuranose from glucopyranose. Thank you for watching. Hope you have learned something from this. We know we did, and we love organic chemistry, and we love this process. Uh, this video was produced and directed by Patrick Stockdale, Sean McCombs, and Abigail Adams. Thank you for watching.